Ah, how y'all down out there? Papa Tuck here, and we're in uh, Lake Veneer up in upstate New York, and we're gonna be doing an awesome little show here, and uh, I'm gonna do a little shout out for Sean because this is fish patties, and and we're we're gonna we're gonna be cooking up some uh, some homemade fish patties, and uh, these bass, these largemouth bass that, that that we're gonna be doing this with, came right out of the lake here, and this place is awesome, Lake Lake Veneer. It's it's the hideaway campsites um, sponsoring this show and you just you got to come and check this place out it's in upstate New York right near Lake George it's awesome so I'm gonna show you the place a little bit here and now uh, then we're gonna go and do us up cook the show yeah all right now this 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 is the outside purveying it uh, and you can see that at, at hide hideaway waterfront let me see it can I get it no oh, look at this Hideaway Waterfront Cottages. There's their phone number. There's their website. You got to check this place out. It's in upstate New York, and it, it, it's just awesome here. Now, you can see this is a purveyor, and I guess they cater weddings and everything here. I mean, this place is awesome. Look at these cottages, and it's on, the, it's on a beautiful lake here. It's actually in Lake Luzerne, New York, and uh, the owner, Peter, Peter Gerard, is he's just awesome. He's awesome to work with. Um, he's sponsoring this show for me. He actually gave me some, look at the cottages over there. This place is just gorgeous. He actually sponsored the shows, and this would be the office when you pull in over here. Look at that. Stars up, baby. Stars up. Anyhow, he gave me some uh, largemouth bass that was caught out here in the lake, and we are going to be doing some fish cakes, homemade right from scratch, in uh, one of the cottages here. And actually, we're going to stay here at the cottage. So go check out Hideaway Waterfront Cottages there. You got, you, it's, it's a must. One beautiful place for a vacation. Let's go on down and take a look at the beach before we go on in and start cooking. Yeah! All right, now this is a private beach at the Waterfront Cottages. It, it, oh my God, this place is awesome. Now they're pretty much winterized right now because they're going into their winter season, but they are open year round. So. I mean, snowmobiling, coming up to the Lake George uh, Winter Carnival. I mean, th there's so much to do up here. I'm really going to be checking the place out. The wife and I are going to be do doing some driving around. But this, I love, yeah, how can you beat this? This is awesome. Wait till you see the cottages here. And the lake is beautiful. Here's, here's a cottage here. It's called Bass. And then you got Bay over there. I mean, it, it's, and it's so much privacy in here. I mean, total privacy, total privacy. You know, you got your little picnic table outside for the family. You got fireplaces outside. Um, I guess these places come with, you know, a little dock with a, a rowboat during the summer. I mean, it, it's just awesome, totally awesome. Here's your birch cottage to the right here. And the lake is gorgeous, and it is fabulous largemouth bass fishing. I guess there's pickerel in there. I guess there's northern pike in there. But I'll tell you what, we're going to go up and try a fish out of this lake. A largemouth bass that's all flayed up, and we're going to be... We're gonna be cooking it right up. I, I look at this. This is awesome. So let's go up there and cook. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, how y'all doing out there? We're at Hideaway Campsites. We're in the kitchen now, and we're gonna be doing us up some uh, fish cakes. And uh, the fish came right out of the lake, and uh, they were vacuum sealed for me. Love this place, and. Uh, you really got to come check this out. I just can't thank my sponsor enough. Thank you out there, Pete. And I'd like to do a shout out again for Sean. How y'all doing out there, Sean and family? We're going to be doing these fish cakes just up for you. All right. Now, what we need to do here is we need to get the potatoes boiling. So I got some new potatoes here, some red ones. And uh, let me get them in the boiler. Here's that fish. Look at these fish fillets. Oh, my God. Put them over here to the side a minute. And I want to get these potatoes cut up a little bit. I'm just going to basically cut them into quarters. These are fresh potatoes. And they actually got the red skins. We're going to leave the skins right on them. Let me bring this right over here. My God, this is an awesome kitchen. I love it. Now, this is really the first time I've cooked in this kitchen. Yeehaw, I like this. But what I got here is I picked up, I went right down the store right down here in Lake George. I mean, you tourists, you've got to check this place out. This is awesome. We're in upstate New York in the Adirondack Park, 
and we're actually at Lake Vanier, and it's V A N Air, Vanier, Lake Vanier. You can't, you, I mean, you, you can Google it. Um, and and we're at the uh, the hideaway, hideaway campsites, and it, it's it's totally awesome. And I think I showed you the how to get a hold of Pete there in the beginning of the show, but this is my first time kick, uh, cooking up a storm in this kitchen, and I like it. You know, and if you're a tourist traveling and you want to stop in here and check this out, you've got the Great Escape Fun Park. You've got the Mini Ha Ha down in Lake George. Go out on a dinner cruise. It's just awesome here. You know, September, you want to watch it up here in September because you got the Bloom Festival. There's like a couple hundred blooms take off at the airport. All right. Now, we've got our potatoes starting to come up for a boil. And we're going to mash them babies up, okay, when they get done. So let's start our fish now, okay. And you can do this with leftover fish, you know, from a dinner, or you can make it just special. I'll get the binoculars on so I can see. But I want to get these fishes, these fish fillets uh, cooking in the old-fashioned Presto. Look at this. We'll put one right in there. Oh, my God. Now, these babies were caught right here in Lake Veneer. This, this is awesome fish in here, too. Awesome fish in here. But let me get these babies all cut. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Nice. All right. Now, these, these fillets are going to take about six to eight minutes to cook. Okay, we're going to fix them up a little bit, and I'm going to show you that here in a minute. Let me get them all into here first. But these are actually largemouth bass caught right here in the lake. I mean, how can you beat this? Oh, you fishermen out there. You know what's really cool about this place that I like? Now, the wife and I both love it. You come up here, you get a cottage, and there's a dock right outside the cottage. There's a little rowboat all hooked up. You get in the rowboat and just go out and roll around the island. Oh my God, I'm telling you, the fishing is awesome. It's fabulous. All right, let's get some spices into here. Now, we're going to turn this babies up to about three, 325, okay? And over in the side, I'm going to throw a little bit of garlic. And I'm going to put a little bit of basil just over in the corner over here, just like that. A little bit of ginger. There we go. There we go. Just for flavor, we're going to get them babies cooking up like that. Now our fillet's in there, we're coming up to a little 325 temp. I'm going to throw a little bit of oil in the bottom of this pan, not much, just a little, okay? And we're going to dish these babies around just a little bit. Get a spatula out here. Now let's just start bringing these up to temp. Now like I say, when these babies get up to temperature, and you notice I got my spices over here in the corner. I'm going to warm them up separately, all in this, the same old Presto pan, stirring them up, and then I'm going to actually put them over the top of the fish, just like this, just like this, stirring them up. Now you see how I got that all stirred up? I don't know if the camera get a close up on that, but I've mixed all the spices up right here, okay, in my little corner. All right, just like this. And we made a nice little paste. And I'm going to take and put this on top of the fish. I used about a tablespoon of each spice to do this, okay? I just squirted it out. I put the old pop top pie in there, but I, I, actually I put about a tablespoon each. Okay, now let's get this baby spread around just a little bit. Set that like that. Now we're also going to take a little bit of lemon juice, okay? And just put over top. Now not a lot, just a little bit. Put over the top of the flakes and just let them babies cook, okay? Now, what you're going to need here for this, basically all your spices is, is on the fillets, okay? Now, I also picked up a little bit. This is a, a New Orleans style fish fry, okay? You're going to need this. You can use breadcrumbs, but I love to, to, to use just a good fish fry. And what we're going to do is we're going to make whip up an egg. We're going to get an egg. We're going to beat it. When our fish is all done and our potatoes are all done, we're going to mix it all together. 
I'll make them into patties, and I'll show you that when we get started getting into it. But we're going to make these into patties for all you new cooks out there. And then they go into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes once they're pattied up. This way that they'll cool. And the reason, and it, really, you need to do that. The reason that you do that is you cool these patties off in the refrigerator. Is so when you're frying them up, and I'll show you that when we get into it, that they don't all fall apart. So at that point, what we do is we put a little bit of oil in there, we bring it up to temp, we get that oil up there so, it, so you can fry in it. And we pull those patties out of the refrigerator after 30 minutes, and we put them in there and cook them up. And I'll, and I'll show you that in a minute. That's, that, at that point, it's when you dip them into your egg batter, and you, dig, dig, you dip them into your fish fry. Now, we get the potatoes boiling, we'll mash them. Six to eight minutes, our fish should be done. We'll flip that in a minute. Uh, get the other side cooking up, and then uh, we'll take it from there. All right, something smells fishy, and pop tucks out around that kitchen, and I think it's fish fillets. Yeah, I like this. It's getting about time to flip these babies. Look at these. Oh my God, do these smell delicious? Yep, it's time. I'm gonna flip these, and uh, the camera get a close up on it, and I'll show you what they look like there when we flip them over, and I'll try to move these spices out a little bit too. Look at this. Oh my God. Now, you can put a top on these and cook them too, but I didn't put a top on because I want to show you. I want to show you flipping them, okay? So, oh my God, look at these fillets. These are smelling so good. Oh my God. They're going to be awesome in these fish cakes. Look at these. Oh, oh my God. Love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. Now, this is what they're looking like with the spices on them. I'm going to flip it right over, and we get these just about done, and hopefully our potatoes will be getting done, and then while, you know, we want our fish to cool a little bit too. We want our fish to cool too, so, oh my God, look at this. About three more minutes, and uh, yeah, the fish fillets will be done. All right, our fish are done. Let me turn these, up. Oh, get the binoculars on so I can see. Now I'm going to turn that right down. And we're going to take these fish and we're going to actually chunk them up a little bit right in here. Look at this. Oh my God, they break up. They're so nice and flaky. Look at that. Oh, they just fall apart. Love it. Just chunk them up a little bit like that. We're going to take and put them into our glass bowl and set them aside in the refrigerator and let them start cooling. And then we'll cook our... Or yeah, we'll cook. We'll clean our presto back up and get it ready for frying because we're gonna we're gonna take and fry the fish patties right there. Oh my God, these things look good and do they smell delicious? Yeah, I love it. Look at this. Okay. Now I want to say another thing here. I cook these up in just a little bit of oil in the bottom of this pan. You can use some red wine too. I've done it with red wine too, okay? But look at look at what they look like. These, oh my god, and do these ever smell so good? I cannot wait to have these fish patties. But what I'm gonna do with these now is I'm gonna tuck them into the refrigerator and I'm just gonna let them cool a little bit, okay? So as soon as our potatoes done, we got our potatoes ready. So let me let me put these into the refrigerator and we'll start cooling them. Set that aside, and then I'm gonna clean this old presto up. Yeah, I love cooking. Right. Well, great grandma used to do these up with. Uh, she called them. Uh, well, she called them bopow. Now bopow, up on Lake Champlain, right here in the Adirondacks, up towards the Canadian border. She used to live up there. She was born and raised on an Indian reservation. Quite quite a story, oh great great grand. But she taught me a lot of her her recipes as a child growing up. When I was a child growing up, but bopow, she called them. Took me years to figure it out because I was just a youngster, but they're bullhead. And some of the best bullhead, freshwater bullhead that I've ever had come right out of this lake right here uh, in Lake George. Um, spring of the year when the schmelt are running, we used to come down here and catch the bullhead. And, of course, Grandma called it bullpout. But you take and you clean them all up, and they make very, 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 very good fish cakes, too. And she used to do it with northern pike. And... I'll show you that recipe on another show because there's a way that you mix vinegar with it. And actually, I'm going to use homemade vinegar to do this when I do it. I'll, I'll teach you how to do the homemade vinegar, too. You're going to like that. 
but uh, she'd mix a little vinegar in there and she'd throw the thing right through a blender like a, a, and back in the old days she had a hamburger grinder she'd throw the fish right through this thing bones and all and the vinegar would you wouldn't even know the bones were bones they turn right into meat basically but let me check the potatoes over here we'll clean this up and we'll get right back at putting these babies together for you all right our potatoes are at a boil so they're ready to mash up so let's get these babies off the stove I checked them with a fork it goes right in there, they're nice and soft, so our potatoes are done, and they're very, very hot. So let's get us a calendar over here, and we'll get all the water out of them. I'm going to pour these babies right in. we got a couple of pot holders right here that come with the cottage. How can you beat this? I love it. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to put these potatoes right back in here. Let me move this over here out of the way a little bit. Bring this over. That over there. Put that right down there like this and we'll put our potatoes right in here just like that now I used red potatoes like I said they're like a new potato seed you skin and all on them and I like it like that but you can peel them it's it's all in the, uh, your flavor on how you're doing that and you can look in my cookbook and see how we do the mashed potatoes up I've got I've got that for all you new cooks out there at, at my website uh, just go there and you, you can get a cookbook um, so I'm gonna put a Three quarters stick of butter in there. Okay, we are going to throw a little bit, a quarter cup right there, quarter cup of milk in there into the potato, and we are going to mash these babies up. Now, I don't have a blender here, so I'm going to do it by hand. But we're just going to mash them all up real good. Oh yeah. Okay, and I'll show you what they look like when I get them all mashed. But I'm going to mash these up real good, and then I'm going to add some of the fish to it, and we're going to let it cool just a little bit so I can handle it, and we're going to make our, our fish cake. I'm telling you, guys. Now, if I was out on the island back home on Martha's Vineyard, we get the binoculars off here, fogging all up. I, I, could, I, I would be using some, some striped bass for this. Um, I mean, you can use anything. Use some white fish. You can take in... Uh, you know it's really, really, really good, and I've got some from fishing out there. Jesse and I from Shirley's Hardware. Yeah, we went out fishing, and we caught a bunch of rock bass. Um, they're the black sea bass, and they are very, very, very good in this. So all the islanders, that they know what to mix into this. Okay, now we got that all about mixed nice up. Fish. Just like this, okay? I'll put that right there like that. Now. Our fish is cooled right down nicely. Move this out the way. Look at this. Now, get the binoculars back on so I can see what the heck we're doing. I'm going to take some of the, chop this up a little bit more. Now this fish is cooling really nice now. It's been in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. We're going to take and chunk this up. Kind of mash it. Break it into chunks. You don't want, you don't want real big chunks of fish in this, okay? You get too big. You want them to mix. You want them to mix with your mashed potatoes. Okay. So this is about what we're dealing with. So I'm going to take. I'm going to put some fish right in there. One spoonful, two spoonful, three spoonful. Break these back down. Four spoonful. Put this aside. Let's mix this up now. Get it mixed up real good. Oh my God! Does that ever look good? You want about. I don't know, half potato, half fish in your in your patty. Okay, look at the oh my god, look at these fish chunks. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this is smelling really, really good. Yeah! Let's get some more fish in here. You can, you know, as you're doing this, you can tell how much fish to put into your potato according according to how you like it, okay? The more you make it, the more the more better you'll get at how you want to do it. That's all there is to it. Practice makes love. That's what grandma used to say. So, there we go. Now let's mix this all up real good. Look at that. Oh my God, does that ever look good. Okay. Now, at this point, just like this, we'll set the fish over here to the side. Pop a duck secret here. We are gonna take to that mix, and we're going to put 
one egg in there, okay? No shell, just the egg, okay? Just like that. And we're gonna, here, let me wipe that off. I got it on my hand there just a little bit. Mash the egg up a little bit, like that. Break that yolk. There we go, and just mix that right into this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my patties here with a spoon. Okay, I'm gonna put them on plates, keeping them a little separated from each other. We're gonna stick them in the refrigerator, and we're gonna let them cool. We're actually gonna let these babies cool for 30 minutes, okay? Just like this. We're gonna take these patties, and we're gonna keep them separate from each other. Put our patties onto a bowl, lay them down, make them about the size of a hamburger. It's almost like you're making a hamburger, okay? Look at that. Okay, now what we're now keep them separate. Okay, but this is what they're looking like. We're now going to put these, I'm going to finish putting these on plates, of course, but these are all going in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, okay? So, and then I'll, I'll put these in the refrigerator, and then I'll start making some more, okay? So let me get these in the refrigerator so that they start. All right, now, our fish patties are all cooled. I put some uh, Crisco oil in here. I brought it up to temperature, so this, the oil is actually hot enough for frying up what we're going to do. So let's get our eggs ready, and what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to throw two eggs in here, okay? And just the eggs, throw them right in there. Make sure there's no shells. All you do for this, very simple, very easy. Oh, we got one piece of shell in here. There are some of going to get out, but I got it. Just check, make sure no shells go in there. All you're going to do is uh, whip the egg up. That's all there is to it. Just like this. Okay? Get two eggs in there. For all the patties we got, we're probably going to want four, but that's all there is to it. Throw the, the, throw the egg in there like that. We're going to get into our fish fry just for our seasoning. And you got to get a little knife over here, open that baby right up. And again, I'm using New Orleans fish fry. I love this stuff, okay? But you can use any kind of fish fry you want. Really don't matter. And all we're going to do is coat these babies. So let's get some fish fry in here. Just like this. About a quarter of a bag in there. That's all we need in there for now. Spread it out. Let's get some of our patties out. Now these babies are nice and cool. This is what they're looking like right now. And what we're going to do is I'm actually going to take a patty out. Okay. Oh, they're nice and cool. And all we do here, okay, is dip it into our egg like so, very easily, just like this. Not too much egg on there. Put it into the fish fry, like this, okay? Just like this. Keep your patty, just like that. Make your patty a little hard, just like you're making a hamburger, okay? Just like this. And we're gonna put it into the oil. Oh my God, these babies smell good. Now I'm frying these babies up at about 325, 350 in the oil, and we're just gonna let them fry. And then uh, we get that one side done, and we'll flip them over, okay? Look at these, oh my God, did these ever look good? Get that patty done. Yeehaw, these things are smelling good, real good. Give me the egg. Oh my God, do they ever smell good. And we got room for one more up there, and we got one more right here. Look at this. And the egg. Now, here's a... What we did here is we put two eggs in there, so this will tell you how many eggs you need, okay? All you new cooks out there, a little fish fry on that. Now we've got hamburger sized fish patties, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You got nine of them in there, okay? Two eggs did that. Just about done on the eggs. We got nine patties in there. 
I mean, we'll pull more eggs out and finish them, but the pan's full, so let's just fry these babies up now. And like I say, we're, we're uh, all we want is, oh my God, smell that cooking. Oh, does that ever smell so good? I'm going to turn that up to about 350 now and bring that up to a little bit better of a temp. And we just want to fry them, so we're using our little spatula here. They are not done on the bottom yet. But one thing you do got to remember is these things are already cooked. And all we're doing is frying them together now so that they don't fall apart. So we're going to let that fry for about oh, two, three minutes on that one side, four minutes. We'll take a look at one of them, see if they're ready to flip. And I'll show you that in a minute. Then we'll flip them and do the other side. All right. Now, remember to keep floating these. Look at that. Now, it's been about a minute, minute and a half in the fryer here, okay? Keep floating them around a little bit so that they don't stick to the bottom. Look at this. They're floating around so easy. And if not, just put the spatula under them a little bit to break them loose, okay? Now let's flip one, see what they look like. Get the spatula under there. Oh my God, look at that. They flip so nice, and it's golden brown on the top. Look at that. So it's actually time to flip these babies. So let's flip them. Be careful you don't get the oil all over you when you're flipping these babies, because that oil is hot. Look at that. Golden brown, baby, golden brown. This is what we're after here. Don't let them burn at the bottom now. Look at that. Keep floating them around now. Golden brown, look at that. Okay, probably another minute to two minutes. Now remember, you want to, I call it floating around, but all you want to do is get that spatula under there. Let them cook for a minute. Let them, let them start browning up there before you move them around too much. But all you want to do is move them a little bit so that they don't stick to the bottom as they're frying. Look at that. Oh my God. And if you've got a, a go daddy fryer, you can fry them right up in your, put them in and just dip them in, fry them, take them out and do them like that too. Look at this. All right, so let's let these babies fry up a little bit. All right. Our fish patties are looking done. Look at this. Let me get a plate. So it looks like on the one side, flipped over it. Look at that. Oh my God, these things look so good. Let's get the oil off. Oh my God. Yeah, these things are looking good. Oh my God, yes. There he is. Oh. Look at that. Ready to serve. Look at that. Let me get the rest of these off. Oh my God, do these ever look good? Wouldn't it be cool if you could combine the capability of a pathfinder? Oh my God, do these look good? You are gonna love these. El Dante, let me turn that baby off. Turn that down so we don't get burnt. And there you have it. These things smell absolutely delicious. Yeah. Now look at these things. I can't wait to bite into one of these things. But actually, you can take. Whoop, whoop, let, let's take one. Put on here. And look at this. Oh my God, the fish did. Oh my God, does that ever smell so good? Look at that. Oh, I know that's going to be too hot to bite into, but I can't resist it. Oh my God, is that ever good? These things are to die for. And the cool thing about this is you did this in your kitchen. Yeah! I'll see you soon. Thank you.